Yeah, today it's, it's been harsher, definitely. But we've got Monday and Tuesday. End of Tuesday will be the winner. It's looking like a two-horse race, but Slicey and Pat are still among it. And Rogue, even, I reckon. Out into the hallway. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. You're right. Into the room. Yes. Sorry, I realized what you were asking. Yes, it opens out into, into this room. Bum, 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 bum. Are there any orbs of goodness this way? Yes, there are. Preemptive. Oh, you knows it. of cake grab a wire coat hanger uh if the handle gets stuck put the hook of the hanger into the gap between the door and wall slide it down past the mechanism and pull oh, okay um, there's i've got um there's a closet right here with some hangers in it so yeah thanks dude good thinking good thinking Oh, maybe, maybe, yes. Time for another approach. Out of my way. Take him out and then, yes. Your bathroom door swings outwards. That seems odd to me. I don't know why. That doesn't seem... No, I always thought doors would open into the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, I was fully prepared for the... Yeah, there it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's good to know. Now I know how to fix it, so I won't have to panic. But that, you know, was mildly terrifying, I'll be honest. Yeah, that is... I was thinking that. Is, that is actually a little odd. But there you go. Quirks to design, so I don't know why. Should be death. Lightning, that was actually stupid. That's interesting. Your doors on the inside swing both ways, do they? Uh, Fallout 4 update is live and it apparently breaks a lot of mods. Well, they were expecting that because of the uh, script extender. So, and that's standard. They did that. That was the thing with Skyrim not a surprise just irritating and it is quite funny how uh annoyed um the fallout london guys were with it because i kind of completely get it i mean bethesda knew about this mod being released on the 23rd and then they were like oh yeah by the way we're releasing a new one on the 25th uh an update on the 25th for a nine-year-old game or however old it is and it's like that's just kind of a dick move. Because <laughs> they could have warned them. They could have warned the Fallout London guys. But they didn't. It's, it's a shame. But, you know. Nothing I can't handle. Huh? 
And death is coming for all of you. Oh, yeah. I think I've just remembered that there is a particularly difficult boss fight coming, and I'm not sure I'm ready for it today. But we'll see. Preemptive strike again. We're getting so many of them. Yeah, I'm not going to say what's coming because, uh, again, I always remember to try and play these games if it's a first playthrough because there are some people who are watching who will not have seen the game for the first time. As far as I'm concerned, uh, spoilers are always spoilers. No matter how long ago they happened. As long as I stay focused. Hello. Yeah, come on then. Doesn't matter if um, something happened in a movie 50 years ago. Which is, no, 40, what, 47 years ago, Star Wars. Um, if people haven't seen Star Wars, they don't know what happens. For them, it's a spoiler. Like, there are kids growing up who don't know what happens. Would you say, oh, come on, it was 45 years ago, get over it? No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, I hope you get to enjoy the movie for the first time like I did. And I think that goes with video games. I can say this living in DMV. Bethesda being based in Maryland. Bunch of money grubbing ass hats. Oh. It'd be like, oh, you're a kid. Pee your pants much? <laughs> But yeah, I think, I don't know why it just came to mind, but the argument of, um, you know, time meaning it's less of a spoiler. No, I fully disagree with that argument. A spoiler is a spoiler. If someone hasn't seen something or read something and you have told them something that happens, then you have spoiled it. Time for damage. Come on. Jesus. Spoilers abound. Yeah, well, I, I, I remember when Endgame came out. I, I was like... Um, I have to go and see it on day one. Otherwise, I'm going to get it spoiled. And then I banned certain terms in chat immediately because i knew that people would say something about like who dies what happens you know so i was like i've got to go and watch this straight away otherwise someone will come in and ruin it for everyone uh people die i know sorry spoilers <laughs> <laughs> Bugger off. <laughs> you were going to watch that this evening. Oh. I'm sorry. I Do you know how much I care? But that's why I haven't said who dies or what happens because, you know, someone might not actually know. There's a chance that someone hasn't seen 
Avengers Endgame or any of it. And it's gone. I might want to watch it at some point in the future. So. Yeah, you should have watched it already. God, it came out 15 years ago, dude. Or whenever it came. No, five years ago. Wait, Endgame came out five years ago. Oh my god. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. People need to prepare you. Uh, that's fair. If you if you want to know, if you want to be like, should I watch this, you know, or are bad things happen? Worst kind of people who do that kind of stuff. They, they, they do it intentionally in reactor content. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I just don't get it. For me, React content should be... it, And it's brilliant. I love React content. You know, I know a lot of people who do React content. React content should be wanting to enjoy someone's reaction to something you've seen, usually. Like, you want to enjoy that. And it's when they then spoil it for the reactor, you're like, well, you're a dick. Like, why? You're ruining their content. Easy. It's just such a dick move. That's normally when, as a React, I don't know, like, KL, Ever, Tiny, people like that who do, and Mikey, who do React content. I would, I would request a friend or moderator, someone to actually check the comments for me. <laughs> so I don't get it spoiled. Someone who's already seen the series or film or whatever in, in question and go, yeah. There's some douche holes. Oh, she's brilliant. Yeah, Cage is great. And the thing is, what this, the people I've already spoken about, the reason they're so good at what they do is because there's no... Um, bullshit with their reactions. It's genuine reactions. It's not over the top. It's it's not ridiculous. It's they are genuinely reacting to stuff, and it's so great to watch. Like I remember the the whole reaction meta. I can tell you came from. Um, people recording their friends watching a certain episode of Game of Thrones. And people wanting to watch people's reactions to an incredible moment in an incredible TV series. Trunks, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for hanging out. See you soon. Have a good weekend. I will be back on Monday. You want to watch someone enjoy something that you remember how much you reacted to it so why would you want to spoil it just don't get it don't get it but then some people are just dicks and just want to ruin the fun for everyone because i don't know they've got their own issues i guess <laughs> There's always some dicks. That's rule 34, Omni. Wait, no, hang on. That's that's something else. <laughs> There's a lot of red dots on this mini-map up here. Uh, uh, hmm. Yes. And, you know, those are the people I will forgive. If they're over-enthusiastic and don't realise it, I will forgive them. Because they won't realise they're doing it. And that's better than people doing it deliberately. But they also need to go... You also need to remind them. Like, no, calm down. We need... To, uh, I think we're fucked. Hang on. We're fucked. Ah, no, we're fine. I think we're fine. 
and I've had this here on the channel when I've been playing a game for the first time and people have come in and been very excited about it and and probably given a few things away but I will be much more lenient to them particularly if I say when I say you've spoiled something and they go oh, I'm really sorry rather than going I'll get over it and you know that I will forgive Oh shit, I've made a mistake. Death. Yep, there we go. There's that game over. No. <sighs> I knew it was coming at some point today. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm died. I'm dead. I'm, 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 I'm died. No, exactly. If you if someone if you say that's a spoiler and then people argue why it's not a spoiler get in the sea fuck off four remaining and we still have a beer to go i'm trying to remember we actually have two to go falcon but i said i wasn't gonna drink all eight <laughs> hi clarky um it depends i mean how much of a fan of the final fantasy series are you and how willing are you to accept that it's a completely different game to the rest of them? Because the battle system is actually brilliant. Uh, the story is a bit hard to get into, particularly at the start. Because it's um, it throws a lot of info at you and is quite hard to follow. Love 12 and 10? I... If it's on sale, I'll be honest, I'd, I'd take the plunge and give it a bash. I would say, I reckon your first playthrough, you will be slightly confused. You will not really know what's going on. Um, but you will go, the battle system's quite cool. Your second playthrough, you will then go, okay, I now understand a bit more about this and about the game. And, yeah. It definitely has replay value. More than maybe one or two others. But yeah. I don't know. Again, it's so it's so personal preference with Final Fantasy. So I if it's if it's four pounds, five dollars, six six dollars, whatever, I say go for it. Honestly, I say go for it. Yeah. Okay. I've made a huge mistake. Huh? Or just guess the whole story. <laughs> Thank you. Right, let's get, let's get, um, to provoke them so she doesn't kill they don't kill there we go that's what we wanted then they don't kill lightning oh fuck a duck what killed both the others but sure where cat's mouth needs a spoiler tag that's Okay, this is fine. We survived because we chose the right paradigms. Right, here we go. Now we start taking our revenge. As soon as it goes to... Actually, no, we better do it now. Fuck. Protect. Oh my, indeed. I was thinking that sounded dirtier than it should. Right, we've got that. You got a game over for Bingip there, by the way, though. So. Don't go for me. Don't go for me. Don't fucking go for me. That is absolutely freaking fine. I will use my Phoenix Downs. It's all right, mate. Cheers. 
Right, and now we kill. Three left. We can do this. Two left. Oh, we got him. We got him. There you go. Just needed a little bit of preparation. Easy. Some of those fights, you do need to just do them again. <sighs> like Dark Souls. This is nothing like Dark Souls. Oh, God. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, can I maybe get preemptive? Nope. Okay. Okay, we're boned. Bound to fight. Broken. Lightning wins. I shouldn't have said that so early. I'm just going to keep whittling down. I'm doing this deliberately. Waiting for the air ogre. There we go. There it is. Now take this dickhead on. I'm also waiting for the... Shit! Yes, good timing. That has worked out beautifully. Genuinely couldn't have planned that better. Okay. Take the heels and then we start killing. Here we go. Now we better go back to Sentinel just to make sure that she provokes them all. They did miss a few, but he he got the protect off just before. Just before. And she has got evade as well, so. Right, time to die. Provoking. Thank you. We'll just wait for the tornado kicks and then we can switch again. Not taking any chances. Yep, there they are. Fuck. There we go. Done. Now we can finish them off. So this is the thing. You may think that a lot of this battling in this game is automated, but you really do have to pay attention and think about when to shift your paradigms. It's, yeah. I really think this is a fantastic battle system. It's one of my favorites. Easy. Because it, it makes you feel in control of the fight, even though you're not controlling two of the characters. And the good thing is you can you can change the sort of the terms of the fight. Suddenly you think you're really on the back foot and then you just change paradigms, completely flip it. And you don't have to heal outside of battle. That does help. Yes. <laughs> that definitely does help. Uh, right. Which way do we want to go here? Well, there's treasure this way. Always think about which uh, paradigm you want to start with as well. If you're feeling defensive, like I have been, always start with the medic. But basically, if you're wondering about how the paradigm things work, commandos stop the um, stagger gauge going down. Ravagers increase it quickly. 
So you need a commando and a ravager to, to do a stagger, basically. Party time, friends. Look at that stagger gauge go up. Oof. There we go. That should be... Boom. Ravage the commando. Oh, my. Yeah, Fang is currently going commando quite a lot right now. I'm okay with that. Barb tails. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. Might be time for some upgrades. Oops. Let's have a look. I haven't done any accessory upgrades because I don't know what I want to be upgrading at this point. Um, but we should probably look at Hope. Uh, do the other eight then. There we go. Now then. 2400 or oh yeah this probably helps a little bit we should absolutely save here and go on to our next fight actually no before we do that it's emergency beer time 